Jason here, Blood Church, coming to you today. God bless each and every one of you. going to do a quick video on the seven sayings that Jesus Christ said, said on the cross. Assorting, uh, they're not the actual quotes and sayings, but it's just sort of what he said in terms of what they meant. And so, the first one is um, Matthew uh, chapter 27. In verse 46, and the ninth hour, Jesus cried with a loud voice, saying, Eli, Eli, lama sabbatani, which is to say, my God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? So, and that is the word of desolation. That's one of them. And which you know, obviously the wrath of God was upon him. Um, at that moment on the on the cross, and um, falling upon Jesus like it will on the devil at some point in time, and it has in the past. All right, so that's the first one. If we go over to another one, it would be the word of forgiveness. That's Luke 23 and verse... Uh, 34. Um, let's read that. Then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, they, for they know not what they do. And that's, it again, Luke um, 23, 34. The word of salvation, also found at Luke but 2343, not 34. And Jesus said unto them, Verily I say unto thee, Today shalt thou be with me in paradise. He's speaking to the other person on the cross who believed upon him uh, for salvation at that moment. Very important story for you as a Christian to know, I would, I would say. It's one of the good ones I use against those that, um, that want to talk about a works doctrine because this guy was a sinner. He never did any works for the Lord. He was... How could he was on a cross at that moment? The word of comfort. Is that John 19, 26, and 27. Let's turn over there. Um, when Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciple standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Speaking about a disciple. And then saith he to the disciple, Beholdeth thy mother. And from that time and that hour, uh, the mother of Jesus went to live with the disciple. So that's a comfort, a comfort message. At that moment, that was given. Um, the word of suffering, also at, at John nineteen twenty eight. So Jesus again on the cross. After this, Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, saith, I have thirst. So he said, I thirst. Um, so again, he's suffering. He's, he's, you know, he's dying on a cross. He's thirsty. Probably, you know, a lot of other things, too, in terms of his body. The word of victory at John 19, 30. Um, when Jesus, therefore, had received the vinegar... He said, it is finished, and he and he bowed his head, and he gave up the ghost. So it is finished, is what he said there on the cross. Um, and that's the word of victory, because, you know, it's now finished. You know, the blood atonement is done. The forgiveness of sins are available to all. Amen to that. The word of resignation to the Father, found at Luke 23 and verse 46. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said this, he gave up the ghost. So again, um, the word of resignation to the Father found there. So if you want to you know, bookmark those verses for yourself, it's a good, good thing to take a look at. Uh, these were the sayings of Jesus on the cross and sort of what they meant and who they were addressed to. Uh, just a quick study. I thought it'd be interesting. In my personal belief, and I'll, I'll, I'll bring this forward to you, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, and John is, you know, there's a lot of dual application 
in these chapters, but it, a lot of it is Old Testament to the Jews. And they, and the moment that he gives up the ghost, from that point forward, really starts the New, the New Testament. So, if, you know, if I were to, I guess if you were to draw up the Bible, you might put the first part of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John until he dies in the Old Testament, and then lump together Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John from where he, once he already gave up the ghost forward, in the beginning of the New Testament as a you know another dispensational divide, but the Bible wasn't put out that way. The books were kept whole, and that's why they just had to choose to put it in the New Testament. Caused us a lot of confusion, but you know Jesus did come for the Jews, and then once they rejected him, he died on the cross. So anyway, I thought this this would blessing would be a blessing, just a small continuation of the words he said on the cross, and sort of what they mean, um, and. You know, those are the seven things. Of course, God works in sevens. Amen. Thumbs up to the video. Subscribe if you're new. God bless. I love you all. Have a great day.